Let me show you my strategy for backing up your email in Outlook. I get uh, occasionally messages from faculty who have exceeded their quota in our email exchange, and so they need to back up. And this is a strategy I've been using uh, for years now. And what I do is I create special folders that are in six month increments where I put my email and then later I burn to a external drive or um, put it on a flash drive or a CD. So I've done this for probably the last 15 years. So this is a strategy that I use. So over here on the, the left-hand side, you can see that I have folders already created and it is time to create a new set of folders. To do that, I go up to File. And what I wanna do is next click on Account Settings and Account Settings one more time. And from this, the tab that you're gonna wanna select is called Data Files. And as you can see, I already have a couple files uh, put into this area. So I'm gonna add one. And here I have uh, examples of files and I'm gonna use the same naming structure. So I'm just gonna click on this particular file, but instead I will change it to 2018. And select okay. And you can see that that has already been added to my list. So that's gonna be for my inbox. So that's step one. So while I'm here, let me add the second one. So I'm gonna, once again, select add. I'm gonna look for my outbox and I will change that also to 2018. Oops. 2018 and OK. And that one has now been added to my site. And with those added, I am going to close this. Now I go into those new folders. And in comparison, I have an inbox. So I want to create a folder within these that I can collect my email. So I'm gonna right click on it and select new folder and call this inbox. And so now I have that inbox. And for this particular one, in comparison, I have an outbox and I have sent, so I haven't been too consistent there but I'm going to create a new folder called sent. So now messages that I have received that I want to keep, what I'm gonna do is select that particular message, drag it into that new inbox, and I will archive those uh, for later. And that's all you need to do to, in order to set up this uh, structure. And it's been tremendously useful for me.